Welcome back here to Watching the Upside Down Show. And today we have something beautiful. I mean, something so emotional, something that, you know, will take you to a different world. Nana, mm -hmm. you, you know, uh, um, sometimes I wonder, you know, how God gives talents. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, there are a lot of questions that yeah. I, I personally would ask God if you we were to meet, meet in him. heaven. No, uh, <laughs> for meeting, I know I will meet him, but I have a tall list of questions mm -hmm. you know because how come he gives certain people some abilities some capabilities mm -hmm. you know they can do so many things at the same time and and you just admire them but th that is why he is god okay that is why he's god and we are human you see the same god that created the frog is the same god that created the nightingale and so then you can get the variations between hey, the voices. Philosophers. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> no, so you know, this lady that we're going to be talking mm -hmm. to, I mean, I really, really, really love her, you yeah. know. Even when I did not know her, I really admired her. How come she's able to do so much, you know, yeah. at one time. And she does it effortlessly, effortlessly you yeah, know. I mean, Please help us welcome our very own, the beautiful, the adorable, Kukui Salome. You know, how is it like you, being you. here and not being on the CBS? And Charlie, <laughs> it's, it's a lot later in the day, so that's good, mm -hmm. yeah. you know. Oh, no, but it's fantastic. I watch Upside Down every week. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously, I see you guys every day. Amazing Those stuff. watching us don't see you like I see you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, look, it's good to be here on set in a different capacity. We're going yes. to chat. You know, yeah. yeah. You know. And today we're not talking about... break it all down today. We're not talking about politics. We're not talking about bad roads. We're not right? talking about no wash. You know? <laughs> today we are appreciating, we are mm -hmm. celebrating you because we believe that you worked so hard and oh, wow. you have contributed <laughs> your own to a media to music, mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. wifehood, to motherhood, Aye. all the hoods you can think about. Okay, well done. Charlie, I crossed it by plan. If you so. If you so. If you so. No, so, you know, I, I always wanted to know um, how it is like, you know, you know, in Ghana, we are so passionate about our football and our politics. Yeah. And so when somebody's into politics, you have your whole family members also in politics. Yeah. So if your mother does something, you are part of it. Your grandmother is part of it. Your you sisters are, are part of it. Every single you know, thing. Everybody is part of it. So, I mean, your father was a minister of state. Mm -hmm. How was it like, you know, growing up oh, in gosh. this environment? You know, it, it's funny you should mention that because people have a certain notion yes. about people who have politicians in their family. Yeah. In fact, I, sh I should actually say my dad was a technocrat. Mm -hmm. He yeah. wasn't a politician, yeah. you know, in the traditional sense. So he was an expert in economics and finance. Uh -huh. yeah. And he was appointed to be a deputy finance minister under yeah. former President Rawlings throughout the two terms he served. And, you know, he, he was he was about the work. And so for me... You know, in the, the modern day kind of political <laughs> dynasties are very different from what yeah. I grew up in. I grew really? up in a very moderate household. I grew up, look, we lived in South La in my grandparents' house. I went to, I went to, I used to take the trotro to school, a oh, rich wow. school. Wait, oh, hold no, up. Are you, saying, I, I, are you saying things were not as rosy as no, we're picturing? Not at all. No, because you have a certain impression yeah. of you. I know. Mm -hmm. no, I know changed. people have that impression. <laughs> we're back and I want to set today. the record straight. So, so please, <laughs> want to set the record straight, let's go back from yeah. when mm -hmm. you were born. I mean, your formative years and yeah. that journey. Okay. So I was born here in Ghana. Okay. Mm -hmm. At, not too far from here. They now call it the Greater Accra Regional Hospital, Rich Hospital. Oh, okay. I'm told. okay. okay. Um, for, uh, one of four siblings. So I have an older brother mm. a, and a younger sister. Well, my only sister and then a younger brother. Okay. okay. Now, when I was a baby, 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 uh -huh. we moved to the UK. My dad was mm. studying for his master's okay. Okay, oh, okay. in the UK. So that's what took us there. Mm. Um, so he, he did that, started his doctorate. Then, of course, we all know the history. Coup d'etats happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, his funding stopped for his doctoral degree. Okay. We were there for a while. You know, my parents, just, you know, just mm -hmm. holding it all together as parents mm -hmm. do. Yeah. And, you know, they sacrificed a lot for us. So people have this notion that, oh, we born with silver spoons and mouths. And no, 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 that's not we, it. We even mm -hmm. think that you don't feel potholes when you drive on them. Oh, I feel them. Pal. Really? Oh, <laughs> they're there, Charlie. They're there. Yeah, strong. Yeah. Right. But um, we, so we moved back to Ghana in 1988. Okay. Yeah. And then so I went to Richard. Church school, yeah, 
for me, it was like culture shock because remember, as I said, yes. I left here when I was a baby, so I yeah. didn't know anything about Ghana. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so how old I, were you then? I was I was nine and okay. some, almost mm-hmm. ten, okay. almost ten. Um, so everything formative about me had been UK. All yeah. my friends were. Yeah, white English people. Yeah. So how how did it feel when you had to transition Challenge. to Ghana? You had to <laughs> blend in with the kids at school. That was richer school, right? That yeah. was richer yeah. school. It, it was it was tough. Uh, it was a totally different system. You know, different style of teaching. Mm. Thankfully, I had a teacher who she was t- tough on me. But she was also patient enough to teach me, yeah. let me get, you know, catch up. I was also a bit younger than everybody mm. because the, there wasn't enough space in the class I was supposed to be in, which I think was class four. So okay. I ended up in class six. Miss Edu, wherever she is now, Miss Edu took her time with me, you know, got me up to speed. So I, mm. I finished class six JHS, JHS mm. at um, Ridge, then went to Holy Child School. Yeah. yeah. For SHS. So after that, one one you take pride in. Oh, oh yes. be, of course. Know. When you're attached to your second house, I know how you they do it. it yeah. 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 My younger sister was a holy know. child, so I know how oh, it is like. Is, oh, really? Yes, yes. Oh, cool, cool, cool. So I know how it so is like. So you know how? Okay. So she's a Hobson. <laughs> no, but my mom is a Hobson as well. My grandmother okay. was a Hobson, so it's, okay, so it's kind of like yeah. My sister as well. Okay. So my dream after holy child was actually to go to Legon. Like that was. I wanted to be a Legon student. Yeah, Legon night. Yes, mm. I was going to study law. Like that was the whole yeah. plan. Yeah. Then my my parents came and said, "Okay, no, you're you're going to go and continue schooling in the U.S." And I was actually quite sad because I, ha- oh, I really wow. had my heart set on Legon. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Mm. That, that's the first time for me. I'm telling you, the agreement was that I would become a lawyer. No, okay, mm. and that was okay, so that was that, actually yeah. my wish. You know, um, I, I in secondary school. You know, the electives I wanted were not offered, but fine. I, I was a general arts student. Mm. I wanted English, literature, and French. Okay. That, I, I loved the languages. You know, yeah. I ended up having to do economics, geography, and French. Okay, fine. Mm. You know, no worries. Mm-hmm. You're going to become a lawyer. Mm. Guess the U.S. Um, I decided that I wanted to be an entertainment lawyer. Oh, okay. okay. Because of that, I, I said, okay, I'll double major in political science and music. Mm. Mm for my undergrad degree, right? So I get to Spelman College, which is in Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. I'm, I'm skipping ahead a bit, but I get to Spelman. And to be a music major, you had to have an instrument. Okay. Mm-hmm. I didn't play any, any instruments. instruments then. All I had was my voice, yeah. which is an instrument. Yeah. Okay? In the context of musical music, study, yeah. voice you is an have instrument. A so, that. But shall I back then? No, no, see, hmm. I get there, <laughs> and you're, you're in a school with... Young women who, from all over America, even yeah. some other countries, and these these are they've been in performing arts high schools. They've had voice lessons. Yeah, they know they've auditioned. You know, they're very confident yeah. about their singing. And and then here comes me, you know, the girl from Ghana who really didn't have a concept of what it was mm-hmm. like to be in that kind of a musical yeah. environment. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you had to audition. Mm-hmm. I never went to the political science department. Whoa! After that, yeah, I ended up doing music and theater. You dropped it all together. Two performing arts majors, yeah. Wow. Well, mm. yeah. But eventually, you took the decision to go into music. Okay. Yeah. Did you get that kind of support from friends, from family? Oh, I'm sure you know the story about being a, a child of Ghanaian parents mm-hmm. who, let's be honest, want the best for you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Our parents always mean well. They want us to be secure. They want us to be fulfilled. They want us to be successful. Mm -hmm. And we know that there are certain professions that, at least in the past, are seen to be those professions that are revered, the professions that will give you that success and that will give you respect and the longevity and all of those things. So obviously they were in full support of me being a lawyer. Mm -hmm. So to come back and say, no, 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 I I really want to, to be a singer, to be an opera singer. Well, Suffice it to say that definitely there was some resistance, yeah. mm-hmm. but eventually they came around. I think once they realized the seriousness with which I approached the whole thing, they understood. I'm sure if I decided, if I went today and said, "Mom, you know what? I'm going to go to law school," she'll probably be very happy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, she's she's under she understands yeah. my passion. Yeah, yeah, she understands. Yeah. So from the states, you came back to Ghana. Came back to Ghana in 2009. Okay, September. Yeah. So you came yeah. back. I haven't learned music yeah mm-hmm. and you felt you're coming back to ghana to do music what kind of music did you think you're coming yeah. to do so i i i came to, when i was coming back home funnily enough i was well aware that what i do is not mainstream at mm-hmm. all okay the ghanaian music scene isn't exactly classical yeah. oriented yeah. yeah um but i had two things in mind one you can create a niche mm-hmm. or two you can go into a different field I, I didn't have any illusions of grandeur. I didn't think I'm going to walk into Ghana and everybody's going to say, hey, we've got an opera singer and it's great. No. Yeah. 
um, but I was open yeah. to basically whatever would come about. So. Yeah. Okay. so whilst you were in Ghana, you were a child, you were yeah. a student, now you've gone, studied, you are back home, ready for the job market. How did you start? Ah, interesting. Very few people may know this. Uh-huh. I started at GIPC. GIPC? Oh, wow. That was my first job when As I came what? to Ghana. Investment promotion I was, Ghana. Yeah, I was, wow. I was actually the head of PR there. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Mm. And I, I think I was there for six months. That's when I realized, no, I wasn't ready to work no, in a government no. agency. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> she has some of those experiences. Remember? That was an 85? That was 85. Okay, come again. That was an 85. 85 job. Oh, it was. Mm-hmm. Or 93. That wasn't the issue, though. Or 93. But within the 85, the there were issues. Oh, to four. <laughs> So now you are a journalist. I mean, now you are a media person. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> you sit on the breakfast show. You talk about Ghana and stuff like that. Yes. You had some kind of experience mm-hmm. back then. Very so little. what were some of the issues then? You remember, I had literally just come fresh from the U.S. where there's a different work ethic. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, things are faster paced and there's just really no room for nonsense if you want to keep your job. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and so, yeah, it was a slower pace. That took some adjustment. Um, there were certain human relation things that I, I couldn't handle. And again, that was very different for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, even little things like, uh, and this isn't one of the reasons I left, but it was the first time I had been in a workplace <laughs> where you go for meetings yeah. and you're paid. So like, like a sitting oh, allowance. Wow, what's this? I had never heard. I was like, <laughs> pen oh, you get money? So, so, oh, we have to go and meet about, I don't know, some trade, something or other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you go, okay, you have to write your name and give you, I'm like, ah, what's this what money for? for? Oh, it's your sitting allowance. Yeah. You get paid for going to meet. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. nice. Okay. I, know. I never, yeah. <laughs> I never, you know, <laughs> things I, it was, that was totally new to me. And then your yeah. music, you know, so mm-hmm. you're back yeah. to Ghana where we are doing high life and hip life yeah. was, you know, gaining you. momentum and all. And you are here coming to do some opera music coming and do, all. Oh. How, how did that fit in? You know, um, there's a gentleman named James Atuscott Benin, who mm-hmm. used to be the music director at Accra Ridge Church. Okay. And I met Uncle Atu through a, a family friend, Auntie Ajili, wherever she is, hi. Yeah. She actually spoke to him about me because she knew I sang classical music. And she said, oh, I'm going to talk to our music director about you. So maybe you, at Christmas you can sing something at Red Church. And I thought, okay, fine. And she actually did. Mm-hmm. So Uncle Atu, some people know him as Red Cap. He's a good producer. He's worked with Amanzaba, mm. um, our friend okay. Kwame Yeboa, um, Yebo, all these people. So... He said, okay, you know, bring her. I met him. He said, okay, come and sing at our Christmas concert. So I did. So a couple of things he did at Rich Church, he called me, I did. Then through that, another family friend said, oh, there's a couple that's celebrating their 20th wedding anniversary. Mm -hmm. And I think it would be nice if Mm -hmm. you came to sing and, you know, they're having just a little dinner at home. And it turned out that couple actually turned out to be Edward and Irina Kufuado. Oh, who's okay. the, the brother of our okay, current president yeah. and his wife. So that was my first time meeting them. I had no idea who they were. Mm. You know, yeah. I went to the house and they were so kind to me. Really, really kind. Um, at the dinner, I sang. You know, there were so many people were there. Who, people who we all knew mm. were there. Again, this is all, I'm just singing, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, so when that was over, then I remember Aunt Irene said, oh, I'm going to do a Christmas concert at my house. I'd love for you to sing. Harmonious Chorale is coming. So I thought, okay, you know, I'll just Why come not? and sing. So I did that as well. And that's actually how I met um, Nanado mm. through all of that. Um, so through those things, that's when I started to realize, no, there are people who actually love this love, kind of yeah. music and are ready to support it. And it, 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 it's just spiraled from there. Now, the current first lady, mm-hmm. that's Auntie Becky, Mrs. Rebecca Kufuado, has a, a charity mm-hmm. yeah. called Infanta Malaria Foundation. Okay. And they decided to do a fundraiser for their, they were trying to get mobile clinics for mm. rural areas. Mm. And they did this fundraiser, classical music concert. Now, there was a Japanese lady, her name is Naomi, and she was here posted with her husband, who was a, like the deputy Japanese ambassador or something, number two. She's a pianist. Mm. So they decided to do a concert with her. Then, again, um, I think it's Auntie Krantima Adidaku. She was the one who said, oh, Kokui is a singer. You know, let's bring her on board as well. So they did. So I did this concert with them, for them. 
at uh, Physicians and Surgeons. Okay. That was the first one I did with them. Mm. And at that concert, there was somebody called Samuel Atamensa. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and Nikamati <laughs> Yeah. So isn't this strange? Which year so was this? Do you remember? This was 2010. Okay. Mm. Yes. So some tiny years ago. Because yeah. I was, yeah, I was pregnant mm. with my first. Yeah. Okay. So it was 2010. I had him in 2011, March. So yeah. 2010. So I came here for an interview, actually, City FM, mm. on oh. Benach, on <laughs> CBS. It's weird. <laughs> Which you wow. are on now. Yeah. Came for an interview with Naomi. So that's when I met Bernard. And then after that, they got in touch. And Bernard said, oh, you need to come back and let's do a proper interview about you. It's very interesting. Blah, blah, yeah. blah. So they called me into City. I came with my husband, I remember. And they said, look, why don't you come and host a classical music show on City FM oh, wow. on Sundays? You know, we'll give you a, a, a slot on Sundays. Come and play classical music, talk about classical music. And I thought, ah, who is this man who has this innovative idea to <laughs> have a... You, do you understand? Like, yeah. I just thought, this is so random, yeah. so bizarre, but, but really cool. And I remember Bernard was like, look, it's a good opportunity. I, do, I know Bernard is very angry. Bernard was like, oh, you should do it, you should do it, you should do it. So I said, okay. All right, so I started. Every Sunday I would come here. Um, so I decided to call the show Classic City. Okay. okay. Every Sunday I would come here play classical music, discuss it, explain to people what the music was about, mm. who wrote it, all of that stuff. I did that for a couple of years. Then one day, Samenz and Bernard, this were them, those two people, <laughs> they summoned me to Samenz's <laughs> office. I say, what have I done? They said, Kukui, you know, we're thinking that you should join Bernard on The Breakfast Show as a co-host. Mm. Yeah. So a lot of people don't know that I was actually on CBS before I left City. Yeah. To go to, yeah. yeah. So I was on CBS. So I said, ah, really? I should join the breakfast show. Eh, I'm going to talk about politics and all this stuff. Like, so, but eh, who am I to say no to some ends? And then I said, okay. <laughs> so, okay, fine. So that's we started. It was going so well. Oh, we had such a good vibe. Oh. And then you left. Hmm. <laughs> Why did you go? Why? Freema? Yes. Hmm. Viasat one. No, because I haven't hmm. forgiven you. <laughs> <laughs> Viasat one. Yeah. Viasat one. So yeah, um, I got a call from Anita Eskin, mm -hmm. and I, in fact, I was sitting in this studio Can you like, imagine? on the breakfast show when mm. I saw Anita calling. I said, ah, I'll call her after the show. After the show, I just went to stand outside where the parking lot is. I called Anita back. So Anita, what's going on? She said, Kokri, Avaya started starting a morning show and they want you to be the female host. I said, ah, I just started <laughs> the breakfast show yeah. in City and it's going really well. She's yeah. like, oh, just come and do a screen test. Just come, you know, see yeah. what is it. Just come, come. So I thought, okay, I'll do a screen test. So we did, I did the first screen test. Then the second one with, we, we did it with, there were two of us in consideration, I think. Mm -hmm. And we did it with two men. Okay. One of whom was Patrice. Patrice. Yeah. I mean, gosh, so that was my first yeah. time meeting Patrice. Okay. And I thought he was crazy. But that's yeah. another story. But so, isn't he though? He is. <laughs> a bit. So then I think Amake, I've ever said, at that time she was head of production, yeah. head of own programs yeah. at Viasat. And she said, okay, we want to offer you the job and blah, blah, blah. My first, oh, I, how am I going to tell Samens this? Mm -hmm. yeah. I just, I agonized <laughs> over it for days. Mm -hmm. I, could, I didn't, I couldn't know, I couldn't figure out what to no, say. No, I can imagine. And how did you I break mean, the news? Yeah. How did I break the news? So, I, so I went to Bernard. I said, Bernard, they've offered me the thing. Oh. Bernard said, no, Kukui, don't go. Don't go. <laughs> I know. No, don't go. Yeah. I said, Bernard, I know, but he said, I know, but I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. You know, okay, you go ahead. You know, <laughs> then I had to tell some man's <laughs> Yeah. I said, my stomach was like, boop, 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 boop. Yeah. I know. Can you imagine so, that? Yeah. so eventually it was actually in the um, kitchen. Okay. I remember. Yeah. I was, I was sitting there and I think he came in and I was like, okay, this is my chance. Yeah. Say so he, he was sitting next to myself. So man's. I think I'm gonna take the job, and you know he was he was quiet for a bit, and he was like, okay, and and I was like, yeah, but I'm really sad about it, and he was like, no, 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 don't be sad. You obviously you have you have a desire to do TV, so don't worry, you you go do the TV. You know he was cool about it, but Charlie, it was hard to tell him. Yeah. So yeah, I ended up leaving, going to Viasat for a while. I still kept on with the classical show. Okay. But after a while, it just got too much. Mm, By yeah. that time, I'd had another child. And, Charlie. Yeah. So how has yeah. it been, you know, still doing the music, doing yeah. um, media, mm -hmm. you know, does the music pay, the, the classical music you do, does it pay? You know, it, it, 
could pay more if I really focused on it. Yeah. Okay. I don't truly, th- really thinking about it. Aside the time I did the album with Uncle Hugh, I really haven't no, no, taken time. No, no, say that Hugh properly. Let's know. Yeah, so let people don't think that some Uncle Hugh will be, you, you know, about. About. Around, mm-hmm. around rage or something. Please. The one, the only. Yeah. Challenge. No, it's a big deal. Master Keller. The mm-hmm. late great. Yes. But yeah. I was going to come to that. I mean, every yeah. artist has had their high moments. They have had their moments of glory. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have recorded with Hugh Master Keller. I can't even believe it. Would you say that was your highest point? I think it has to be. Tell us it about has that to be. experience. The man was mm. a civil rights yeah. icon. Yeah. yeah, he's a legend. That that also goes back to the Akufuados. Um, they, you know, we talked about doing an album, and, and we were going back and forth on it. And Uncle, mm. and sorry, Uncle Hugh, and he actually liked to be called Uncle Hugh. Okay, he was a really, in fact, great friend of theirs. Mm. Very close to um, President and um, His wife. Um, Uncle Bumpty. Very okay. close to them. I went to their house one night. They said, "Oh, he's in town. So we should come." Got to the house, and he was just there. You know, just as cool as <laughs> ever. Back. Yeah. <laughs> and he said, "Oh, you know, I should play something." He greeted me. He was so warm. I was like, "Yeah, this is you." I said, "Like, this is, mm. ah, is this, this is him." Oh. Mm-hmm. He said, "Oh, I should sing something." I said, "Okay." And the Uncle Artu sat down at the piano and said, "What are you going to sing?" I said, "Okay, let's sing Miek Bomoko." It's a gun song. Yeah. So he started playing. I sang. Well, I thought we were going to sing a little yeah. bit of it. Yeah. Oh, 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 come on. A bit of it. Come on. <laughs> that was the if intro to Hugh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so we, we need to celebrate that. that. You. No, yeah. so it's a popular gun song. Yeah. Um. And the, so okay, I'll sing it. Then I'll. Please. I'll, I'll just yes. a little bit. <laughs> don't worry. A little bit, favor. It's do. all right. It's all right. I'm in. Mia Bomoko. Ekpe po mile, mile, mile. Ekpe po mile, mile, mile. Shivole hani makpe mi sen keke no keke le va mi ne hami no kone la hami ne wale mi mawo wale mi mawo mawo. E ha mi no ni mi ta wo ra 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 chevele be po mi le mi le mi ana so it that's you know, what you're performing you are I, I, I watch you, you know, <laughs> when you're performing what is the fun i watch you like i don't know you yeah you, know, you, you, you transform i'm like exactly ah, it's not it's not it, you know <laughs> no, it's, it's one of my favorite songs and it just means yeah. i have a friend um, I don't know his name, mm-hmm. but let me just cry out and he'll be there. He'll carry me he'll, and I don't know his name. So basically yeah. talking about, you know, yeah. God. So, is so, that so friends let's, always there? let's, let's talk about the money aspect, you know, because mm-hmm. I'm very interested in no, that. No. We're talking about whether it pays or not, you yeah. know, because it, it can. And mm. the reason I say it can is because again, it's not mainstream, but it's a very, it's a specialty. Mm-hmm. And whenever you have something that's unique, it's rare, mm-hmm. so it's valuable. Do you understand? But again, because I'm not focused as much as I could or should be on yeah. it, mm. but it does pay relatively well, I would say. Mm. Okay. Um, and there are lots of musicians in that genre in Ghana who, you know, we talk about this a lot, the remuneration and the fact yeah. that people downplay the, the skill. You know, when you're when you're in the arts, when you're a musician, when you're an art, a visual artist, yeah. when you're people, sometimes they, they just have this notion. If you're a photographer, you know, they think yeah. it's just something you get you up and playing. do. So they don't they don't value yeah. it. Yes, Whereas in other jurisdictions, those skills are valued, properly exactly. valued, mm-hmm. which yeah. is why the industries grow and they do yeah. very well. Yeah. But here we still have this notion. Oh, oh, just come and sing something. Oh, just take some pictures. Yeah. Oh. Can't you just play something? Mm. No, the person studied to acquire skills to do this well. They invested in themselves. Yeah. Mm. So you thinking, oh, but you're just coming to play for five minutes. No, I've studied for several exactly. years. Do you yeah. understand? A doctor yeah. studies for several yeah. years mm-hmm. to perform surgery. Yeah. You pay them, you know, mm-hmm. commensurate with their experience. Absolutely. Musicians, journalists, presenters, dancers should also That's be true. accorded That's respect true. for their yeah. craft. Yeah. You That's know, we, yeah. we haven't gotten there yet as a mm. society, yeah. you know, so we need to work on that. Concert wise, you prob- you pretty much have to organize your own or be mm. part of one that some private people are organizing. Um, but there's all, you'll be surprised. Weddings. Yeah. I get funerals. Mm. Oh, funerals. Prima. Some yeah. bougie funerals. Funerals. <laughs> because I don't think that everybody is that wants a funeral on the pad that see, we have the Yasa Paul. With, 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 with the funeral bit, I think people get it <laughs> twisted. They, 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 people get to think that the mm. opera music is sad music. 
Yeah. That's how come you get more invitations to do to opera music at Maybe. funerals. Maybe. And then, but Ave, the most popular song, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Yes. Yeah. The Schubert version. Wedding. That Ave we Maria. know. That Ave, we know very well. Wedding. Ave Maria. Wedding. Yeah. Funeral. Ave Maria. With everything. <laughs> Give some tease of the Ave Maria. I ask people, do they know what it means? Mm-hmm. Because it, it's a prayer. It's actually the Hail Mary. So maybe you can do so, the first so time and then you explain to us. I, I'm like, okay, if you know what it means, fine. It was, yeah. I, I, I mean, well, I never knew. It, yeah. It's a prayer. Okay, so just give I us some. I don't even a, know a, the words. All I know is the way we say it. We sing it in Latin. <laughs> okay, but it's, it's the Hail Mary. Okay, okay so, so just give grace, us some Lord three lines and tell us where the Hail Mary and where the. It's the whole. It's the whole song is the prayer. Oh really? Yeah, the whole song is a prayer. Oh, okay, so go just at it give already. us Come on. You know the how voice, we do it. Even before the performance. Oh, Marie. That's it. Oh my god. Oh whatever. Oh whatever. Oh my god. But yeah. Look, so so uh, we're gonna get a pianist, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. so you get your compliments and do an mm. amazing piece. Yeah. But you know, before we go for the break, you are a mother. You yeah. are a mm. wife. How many kids do you have now? Four. Four. How old how old Whoa. how old are they? <laughs> the first yeah. one is He's nine. Nine. Then seven. Then mm-hmm. seven. Then six. Six. Then one. Yeah. No, then you are a superwoman. So how do you Charlie get up Emma? to come do the breakfast show? I don't even know. But you do it. Charlie. <laughs> I no, don't we, we, oh, 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 we have to take a break and take some tea and um, come back for something spectacular. This is Fact Finder from the BBC. We live in a world where news travels fast. And sometimes it's hard to differentiate fact from fiction. Fact Finder brings fact checking from the newsroom up close so you can separate truth from chaff. Be empowered to tell what's fake from what's real. Watch Fact Finder by the BBC on City TV every Wednesday at 6 pm. City TV, it's your world. You're welcome back to watching the Upside Down Show. Proud and brought to you by Vodafone Ghana. The future indeed is exciting. Ready? Ready? Right, so we have Edwin seated mm-hmm. and we have <laughs> Cox standing. Yeah. And so when you have the two pair, then you know that you are in for a whole different feel. Mm-hmm. So we're going to be taking you away from Adabraka to somewhere in... Cox, are we doing something Italian? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Yes, we have, to Rome. we have brought Rome to Adabraka. Great, wow. right? So <laughs> we are in, celebrating uh-huh. Rome right here. In <laughs> but so yeah. Edwin and Cox, the floor is yours. Okay, so we're going to perform a piece entitled "Oh, mio babino caro," which means "Oh, my dear father." And it's from an opera by the great Italian composer Giacomo Puccini. So if you've heard of Puccini, this is one of the arias from his operas. An aria is a song from an opera. Okay. Um, So let's go.
So instrumentalist. Amazing so this is stuff. Edwin Ferguson. Amazing oh. stuff. Probably the most fantastic pianist I've ever worked with. Trust wow. me. I have wow. those bumps. Wow. Fantastic. Wow. Edwin. Yeah. Wow. So this request, you know, <laughs> I'm not gonna ask Koki. I'm ah. asking you. <laughs> you know, um it's request? my birthday it's week. Ambush marketing. <laughs> so it's only fair that you play. I know if you start playing Koki, you sing. Yeah. So. But if I hmm. pass the request through, then mm -hmm. it might be shut down. Right. So it's only fair, you know. That you do something birthday yes. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Cox. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm ready to so hold my hand. Yes. So let's say we need oh. the beautiful Firma. Oh, thank you. As it is her so birthday. Also this. Okay. At this wish. moment, all I want to do is grab a glass of wine and enjoy you singing. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, I'm not quality. The party was come <laughs> right after. <laughs> thank you, Cox. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah. That's what we get for working with you. You get the request right? to Edwin. So me, I'm just here. No, he started. Oh, she'll be moved. I don't know why I'm not crying. Oh, I don't you. know why I'm not crying. Why? Oh, why? You're the boss. You're the boss. You're the boss. So can we do the Ave boss. Maria? Ah, thank Absolutely you. Absolutely beautiful. Ah, please. Oh, but you Edwin. know you can't live without doing Ave Maria. You can't go without Ave Maria. What Bekuna? Come on. We know. Well, I don't speak God. I, don't, I, don't, I just don't understand. <laughs> so please. No, you know we're not going to let you go without Edwin, doing Ave Maria. I love you so Come much. On. What do I feel that we click? <laughs> wow. Please. Thank oh, you. Yeah, you see me to get to. <laughs> no. <laughs> thank you. We're not do two lines. Oh, oh, you can't do that. <laughs> so,
come, come please. On. We push what? Ah. No, please continue. I don't. I don't want to spoil the flow. Extended version. Edwin. Superstar. I mean, you are amazing. You are free, everything. <laughs> no, give it to her. Give it to her. Give it to her. You know, you know, the, she you know, deserves it. I mean, I just feel so complete, you know, for a birthday. This is a remarkable imagine? one for me.